it, you're going right now. So. All right, so um, shoot, what was I thinking? I'm trying to think of how to correlate that. So, uh, yeah, mostly for the group. I tried to take on making the flyer, but since that was already taken, I thought I'd just go and spread the word. I had people offer to give money, which never really materialized. Everybody finds a couple of people who are willing to help you spread the word and don't and stuff. Lucky for me, I was heading home, and at that time, I could go to a church where there was a ton of people that wanted to help other refugees. As I talked to them, a lot of them said they wanted to help. I don't know why. Maybe it's just because they were themselves were refugees once. For the donation drive for the refugees, I uh, started with family and friends. Um, that was just the easiest and most obvious thing to do, was to give them the donation list and see what they had. So I told them to go ahead and donate it directly to the Agency for New Americas. We kind of decided that um, it would, the most effective thing to do would be if we kind of pursued our own individual donation drives. And so for my personal donation drive, um, I decided to make a really cool little change box that I would just carry around and see if people had spare change. I brought it to um, the weekly meeting of the um, club I'm with and to my Bible study. A lot of the time people are just like, I hate carrying change and throw it in the box and I was like, hey, every, bit, every little bit helps, so. Hi, Mom. How's it going? It's going good. I was just, I'm, I wanted to ask if you and Dad would be willing to donate anything. Make a donation. Okay. So, um, I decided to create some flyers and hand them out in my parents' neighborhood. They have a Facebook page as well, so I posted them to there. I had some interesting responses when I talked to people about what we were doing and why. The discussion ranged from I think we should support refugees to I think Hillary Clinton should be in jail. Even regardless of where you are on the political spectrum, um, it's pretty black and white. Um, that these people are, um, they're fleeing and suffering and just looking for a place to survive. Some of my grandparents donated a lot, um, my girlfriend's family donated a lot, um, so a lot of my family stepped up. Social media drive has been interesting. That's definitely been a source of uh, conversation around the issue of refugees. People who are obviously not in support of it make their voices heard on social media. I'm going to put the title on screen right now, since I can't remember the name of it, off the top of head, but a documentary about ethics. Um, and it, one thing that resonated with me is that when it was talking about divine command, um, I'm a Christian, I believe in Jesus Christ, and among the most important things he taught were to be kind to each other. Um, and I don't think it's kind to shut people out um, when they're fleeing violence. You know, in my eyes, I feel that it is a very black and white issue that these refugees are coming here because they are coming from an area that has, you know, one of the five faces of oppression, whether that's violence, um, whether that's marginalism. I mean, the refugee resettlement is pretty black and white. There are people that are just escaping basically a horrible situation. We should not be saying, you should just be happy to be here. We should be asking the question, what can we do to make your experience better? 